Alrighty. Mere moments after the kind of grassy taste and previous pepper. Uh, we're moving on to the green Thai pepper. Trying different colors of all of them to see the relative flavor differences and hotness and whatnot. To be honest, the, uh, the ripened Thai pepper I had had a fair heat to it, I guess, but the flavor wasn't all that good and the skin was really tough. But I'm going to brave on through to this approximately two inch long, about a centimeter wide or less. Green Thai chili. See how it is? Almost a florally perfume like. It's really waxy and plasticky texture wise. Definitely not one I'd recommend just eating. Flavor's not that bad, I guess. More of the texture that kind of spoils it for me. Oh, a bit of heat. I raked the seeds from under my tongue. A little bit of a sting in the back of my throat. Like right down here. Tip of my tongue a little bit. Faint background tepidness or tepidity. I don't know which is the correct for <laughs> that one, but of warmth inside my head, I want to say. Oh, well, my tongue's picking up a little bit. Yeah, strong stinging right on the tip of my tongue. <clears throat> Ooh. Faint warmth in the corners of my lips. Nose is clearing out a faint bit. A lot different of a burn than like the habanero, which I noticed was very effervescent. I could feel my whole body just picking it up, you know. And then the endorphins kicking with those ones too. This one is not so much. <laughs> yeah, the flavor of that one's a little bit closer to like a habanero. The chinense varieties. But I'm pretty sure Thai peppers are technically annuum. I'm not entirely sure of the differentiation between the cultivars or the sp uh, species. I do know that overall, tip of my tongue is scorching compared to the rest of my mouth and throat. Yeah. Lips are warmish. Not directly down the center, but if I were to draw a line right here on either side my lips is faintly warm. Faint like on my temples, I feel a faint background warmth. 
but not bad at all. Didn't really sweat with that one. But yeah. Mm hmm. That section of my tongue. I'm still stinging. Not overwhelmingly so, but it's kind of a discomforting sensation. Just because the rest of my mouth isn't really feeling that. So it's more isolated. With the really, really hot peppers, you know, it's a overall just intense burn that radiates, throbs through your tongue. Soft palate on the underside of your tongue and your roof of your mouth and the back of your throat. And your gums and cheeks, lips, forehead are just overloaded with endorphins and sweat and the capsaicin really gets to you a lot more but with these kind of intermediate hot varieties it tends to be more localized to specific parts of your mouth and nothing else and I can feel that on my tongue right now tip of my tongue yeah that's about it. Thai pepper. Flavor-wise, leaning more towards the habanero family. <coughs> Although I'm pretty sure the genetics lie more in the annual, which is the bell peppers, jalapenos, poblanos, Anaheim's, serrano, etc. Um, flavor, it, it's not that bad, but it's the texture of those peppers. That's Like I said before, it's the kind of pepper you'd... I'd prefer to just use, just add a little bit of heat to a stir-fry dish or a sauce and then take that take it out because of the texture is just like chewing on a on a thin credit card or something like that. Not exactly, I guess, but a thin plastic like texture, really waxy on the outside. Not really much moisture in it, a lot of seeds, so it's just really not all that much of a pleasant eating experience. Although the flavor wasn't all that bad, so yeah. T green Thai pepper, good for sauces, but I wouldn't recommend just eating them straight up because the flavor is kind of disappointing in the texture and overall eating experience is compromised because of that, so. I wouldn't eat them whole, 